morning traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Wednesday, March 8th. Okay, guys, well, we have uh, the pullback that's continuing. Uh, we had three days of uh, markets that are pulling back. Uh, I'm treating it very suspect, meaning that there is no validity to the move uh, lower. There's no conviction lower. Very slow grind. We gap down. They try to fill the gap, and then we just go sideways pretty much all day. That's for the day trade. Now, if you're short and your position's short, you know, you're doing okay. Um, but it's only three days off of the, uh, the big explosive move after Donald Trump's speech. Uh, we've sold off and took back all of its gains and actually uh, in some indices are lower previously from that, uh, that, big, gap, that big gap up day that we had. So uh, I am treating this pullback as suspect in a sense that um, I don't believe, I do believe that we, excuse me, I do believe that the, uh, the move will prob probably will be bought. Now, um, interesting though, if we can get some more fear in the market and maybe a little bit more uh, aggressive in volume, uh, then we could we could be in that fourth minor wave pullback of the bigger five wave market top. If you if that if that makes sense to you guys, um, and sometimes that fourth wave minor pullback is the start of that um, of of the market decline. So that means that we may have a top in place. Um, but I'm, I'm, I really don't think so. Like, I'm not really uh, excited about it. Um, we are, we could be starting that fourth wave minor pullback. It does look like it's happening, meaning that it's going to be shallow, very short, very sweet, and buyers of dips comes in and pushes the market higher as the shorts come in to try to short it. Now, I've said this many times in the videos in the last week or so, that would be an ideal situation that we get a higher high off of this swing high, that, that high that we just made uh, the other day, and shorts capitulate. They put all their money into the short side again, lose all their money as they get squeezed and cover. Longs are already in, and there's nobody to buy the market, and that's when the market starts to roll over. Then you get some fear. We get um, some sort of a catalyst to the downside, and then we have the ball rolling down the hill. Uh, so a couple of scenarios that I just pointed out to you guys, and it's still intact. Uh, we just haven't gone, really haven't gone it. It's been very, very boring. I mean, it has been boring. This is not um, an exciting market, to say the least. And from July, we went sideways since from July to October. The end of October, and then we had the, uh, the um, Trump election. And then that's we had that 12 days of, of moving higher, gapping up every single day. And that's pretty much it. We've been sideways ever since. We've been sideways since December. And we're now going into March. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I have never seen a market so complacent like this. And when you say you don't see something, wow, this is, I've never seen this before. Well, you'll, you'll there'll be another time that you say, I've never seen that before because it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible where the markets are down and the VIX is down. And, uh, and market participants continue to short the heck out of this uh, and it's going it's going to happen it, it's it's not a matter of if it happens it's a matter of when it happens the volatility is going to explode and we don't know when um, but I think that we're very very close I think that the markets are going to give a phenomenal phenomenal opportunity to make some really good money quickly and easily between now and this and this beginning of the summer uh, I don't know when, but it's, I think it's happening. I think it's happening now, and it could happen at any given moment that where the markets can either rip to the upside, which would create a phenomenal shorting opportunity, or start the ball rolling to the downside. And we don't know right now. Three days, three small little down days doesn't mean anything. So um, that's what I'm watching out for, and that's what I'm looking for. And, of course, I would tell you guys as well. All right, UUP, again, above the 2615. Uh, holding steady. We need to take this little swing high out, and then obviously we need to take this swing high out for any type of movement. But watch the dollar if you guys are playing the commodity sector because that's going to affect it. TLT, uh, like I said, no trade here. If we lose this, we should test the low here. And if we break the low here, that tells me that the USB, the uh, uh, bonds weekly, is losing the 200 day move, 200 week moving average, excuse me. And then, then we should be looking to sell rallies. But I'm not doing anything in this until we start to see a breakdown. GLD, uh, we had talked about how GLD, we had some divergence from the miners and the gold. And you can see here, we're starting to break down, taken away from our TMT proprietary price channel. Okay. And GDX is the culprit. And this is where I'm saying, guys, be careful. Like, I, I remember I mentioned I said I, I don't I don't like the move. I think this is just corrective, and I think we test the uh, make a lower a higher low one more time. 
Um, not not that it's not a bad trade. It's just been you know you only had really a three day up trade. It's consolidated for almost a month and then another three day up trade and then we failed and now we're coming in here. So this is the spot what I'm watching now. I'm watching to see if GDX can make a higher low from this previous low or is it going to double bottom? Okay, and then once it holds and can base a little bit like it like it did here, 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 and here, and takes out the high, the swing high, the base. That's when I'm looking to get in GDX. At the moment, I'm looking for where it's going to stabilize, okay? But it's a good no trade, guys. This is where we had that head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders, and we have the neckline. I kept the neckline because, it's to, to me, that's a valid trend line. And as you can see from our Pro Trader Premier video, which I'm giving you samples of, this is where all our subscribers really realize that this is going to be the, um, this is going to be the top of, the, of this move. Uh, and if, they, if it was... Easy to manage, you know where your stops are, you know where you're entering short. So um, come check it out, Pro Trader Premier video, guys. I'm sure you're going to love it. Spiders, you can see here we fill the gap. Okay, now, and remember, at one point we were here, um, we were like two and a half, well, before here, we are down to here, we were about 2.8% from this level here to, the, to this peak. And now we're starting to come in, we fill the gap. This is the more important level right here, 236.50. Um, by the time it gets down here, the, the 21 EMA daily will probably match this. And if we break that, give it two-day closes below that, then I think we could start some sort of a, a, a better correction. This is not a correction at all. Little tiny, small little candles, no volatility. This means nothing to me other than the fact that they probably will be bought to, to uh, bid the market higher. Okay, 60-minute chart, uh, a little scenario chart. Again, same thing. I'm just laying out here. We tagged at 240 right away. Within, the, um, I think it was a matter of like four or five days when I said 240 is the print. And sure enough, it tagged it, and now we're back down again. We fill this little gap, and we're going to look to fill this gap here. So the next spot, again, 230, at 236, call it 236. Let's round it off to 236. IWM, uh, again, the levels are the same. I pointed out these levels. Uh, you're looking at here, uh, 133. Uh, this le this level here, or 137.77, was taken out already. So 133 here, 38% retracement. It's going to also come down to 130. And then, uh, of course, I'm looking for uh, the, the top of this area here, 126.80, will be the bigger picture downside target, and then we would reevaluate it. Tr uh, transports, watch the transports, guys, because they're our leader, and they're starting to break down again. So let's see if we get to the bottom of this channel, and if we do... Uh, we lose the channel. We could get back all of this move here. You can see the thin zone here So I'm paying attention to that and it has been really boring I mean, you know to try to make 30 40 50 cents and, and during the day off the indices Very difficult when you're gapping up or gapping down and you go pretty much sideways most of the day This is what we've been uh, given of late. So let's let's keep an eye on things and uh, and and just get ready because at any given moment we can really explode to the upside and or to the downside. I think the bigger picture risk is to the downside, but once we once we finish this corrective fourth wave minor pullback, uh, we're going to see if the market does have enough juice to move higher or we just start to continue to roll over. Okay, And, here, and here's your cues. You can see holding in relatively well. A lot of the FANG stocks are holding in well here too as well, so that's, that's holding up the cues. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Let's uh, let's take it one step at a time. We have a risk event. We have um, Fed rate decision. We got the uh, debt ceiling. We have the job numbers. So between this week and next week, uh, be ready, be prepared, because I do believe that's going to start the next leg up and or down. Okay, so you might want to either protect your portfolio, tighten up stops, or um, get ready to uh, participate in the volatility because we are getting it. Have a great day, everybody.